Good morning, my babies. How are you? How'd you how'd you sleep? Or if you're about to go to bed or whatever, how was your day? I hope it was good. I hope you feel amazing. Um, yeah. This is a general message, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Yeah. If it ain't your message, then it's not your message. Don't make it food, babies, okay? So, um, the first song that I got on Shuffle is No Bi by Glorilla. I'm not going to read the lyrics because uh, I'm not going to be able to read most of them. So, <laughs> But um, it says, there ain't no bitch in me. Um, everything working, I've been in the gym. I can splurge today and pop out with an M. Fuck it, carpe diem. I make them motivated. Um, fuck whoever hating because there ain't no bitch in me. Um, there's a phrase. I'm looking for a phrase here. That, Keep your two cents to yourself, ho. That ain't making me richer. Um, all this money getting spent because I ain't sh cause it ain't shit to me. Bitches hate on me for free, but that's the cost of being beautiful. I can't beef with you, broke hoes. I could pay for your funeral. Um, okay, yeah. Just like the 40-year-old virgin, I ain't never been pussy. And on the internet, the only time you bitches be bullies. Um, yeah, so what I'm getting here is like people are trying to like put fear in you, um, bully you, keep you from like moving forward, making money moves, you know, doing things that like are good for you. Um, and they, you know, they're going to try and scare you anyway by making comments or, you know, uh, <laughs> gang stalk you, like try to <laughs> like say weird shit, like they're, you know, you're getting stalked, weird stuff like that, like just weird things that they're trying to like make you inse insecure, scared, so you stop doing what you're doing. And that is the perfect proof that you're doing the right thing that you are making a difference and you are doing what you need to be doing. If you got fucking haters, then that's what you need to be doing. Um, keep your two cents to yourself because that ain't making me richer. Like, let them talk. Do not get hung up in their weird fears, that type of stuff. Um, yeah, and they... Let them talk. Let them talk behind your back. Let them gossip because you're... Um, your morals, your spirit, your integrity is going to shine through any of their fucking bullshit. And their strength and your strength is going to shine through and like put their ass in the ground. Metaphorically, of course. <laughs> Just to be clear. Um... I might just stomp her ass. I might just pull up and slump her ass. Like, do not, like, you know, give in to their fear tactics. Do not give in to their bullying. They're, um, you know, trying to get you to, like, just be in some weird-ass fear, you know, hung up on something, like, not move forward, not make these big leaps of faith. We have the Justice card. They don't want you to have like balance in your life and they want you to stay stuck because I was shuffling this deck just getting it ready and it said jumping is scary, staying frozen is scarier. So they just want you in this frozen state like uh, indecision, not making a choice because they, they know, they see your potential and it scares them because they can't step into their potential and look at themselves. They're focusing on the things outside of them because they're in this you know, karmic energy. Um, and we have the devil after that. So they're, you know, working with the devil. We're, they're working with the enemy, 444 on the clock. Um, you're protected. So don't even trip on that. They're trying to put, you know, because fear is the enemy. Um, they're trying to put that fear in you, just like in uh, Paul Atreides and 
uh, <laughs> in Dune, uh, you know, they all say fear is the mind killer. Um, it keeps you from moving forward. It keeps you from being the best warrior, being the best leader, you know, all that stuff. If you put live in fear, then you're not going to make these moves. Um, and that's what they want because they're jealous. They're triggered by you. You have big presence and they don't want you to see that. Um, so we have the seven of wands here and just protect your energy, protect you know, what you're reaching for, your goals, like what you're wanting to do. Um, 444, 441 on my clock here. Um, protect what you want to do. Uh, defend, you know, you don't have to outwardly defend, but internally defend, like, why are you still doing this? Even when they're doing some bullshit ass, like bullying, trying to, you know, tear you down, keep you from you know, send you spell work, weird shit like that, like negative energy, all this stuff to try to keep you from, you know, reaching your goals and having this balance and, you know, karmic justice in your life because you deserve to have a good life. You deserve to be financially abundant. You deserve um, every dream, desire that you have to be met. And they're just on, you know, demon time trying to block that because they don't see their potential in themselves and they haven't walked through the fire yet. They haven't, you know, gone through their awakening. So, um, they're just, they're just on that and defend that with internally and keep pushing, keep reminding yourself why you want this. Even when it gets hard and shitty and people suck and try to send all this crazy shit, um, just keep pushing, keep reminding yourself, keep being your own cheerleader. You know, they're going to try and isolate you from everybody. And maybe that's, you know, good. And it's funny because these people that try to isolate you, um, they're codependent. So they think that you are too. And so they think that you're going to just drown and uh, deteriorate when you're isolated from people. When in fact, like this is where you're going to have more creative energy because you're not like being siphoned by these karmics and shit like that. So it's anything they're trying to do is just benefiting you because one, it's giving you the proof that you're doing the right thing. When you got haters, you're doing the right thing. And two, um, that just shows how big of a presence you got, how um, powerful you are, that you're a threat just by existing. And so keep pushing forward, keep defending your beliefs, just internally be like, no, fuck that. I'm doing this because of this. I'm doing... I'm going to keep pushing because this is what I want. This is what I deserve. And this is my purpose. Because um, the next song I got is You Asked For It by Emir. Um, Get the fuck up. What? Move. Like, and that's all the lyrics say. Um, you know, you asked for it. You want this, then you got to get up and you got to still do it. Even when people are trying to stop you and keep you from this bullshit. Um... They're trying to, you know, block this change in your life with the tower in reverse. They're trying to keep you stuck, frozen, in fear, working with the enemy, 444 on my clock. Um, so, like, the reason I keep seeing this and it's being brought to me is, like, you are heavily protected. Call on your spirit team. Um, ask them to, like, guide you through um, when you're feeling, like, lonely or, like, just, like, why are people doing this? Like... Just can I get some comfort and they'll give you comfort. They'll comfort you. They'll make your day. Um, you know, you'll get these little hints of like, you're doing okay. You're doing a good job. You know, it might just be some random stranger that you're walking by that gives you a compliment and like a little boost. Like, oh, thank you, spirit. Like, thank you so much for that. Like, um, and just being grateful for those little moments, especially since like, you know, you're fighting through all these like weird people trying to keep you stuck. Or make you question, you know, what you're fighting for, or what you're pushing for. Or it might just be, you know, your spiritual growth. And, you know, you've been, you're isolated and you're like, man, why do people suck? Like, what, what the hell? Um, <clears throat> keep reminding yourself why you're doing this. Like, this is for the greater good. And you'll eventually get through this. You just have to walk through the fire and go through the isolation and this discomfort and all of that. Protect your energy and... I, Ultimately, the isolation is just to protect your energy anyway, so it's a blessing. <laughs> but, yeah, so we've got the Six of Cups here. People are going to try to get you to, like, reminisce about the past. Um, 
remember when, or like, you know, try to trigger your like childhood stuff. Um, Cause this is like, you know, childhood, like the past stuff like that. And we have like the little elephant, like never forget. Um, they're just gonna try and trigger, you know, especially if it's like your family and stuff like that, they're gonna try and trigger you. Um, work on you, manipulate you in some sort of way, like manipulate your energy to like get you stuck and like fall back into like, come back to mama, like come back to my house instead of, you know, flying the nest and doing your own thing and uh, blazing the trail. They're gonna try and get you to fall back because it's just scary to w watch and see, like it just triggers their fear within them so they have to project it. <clears throat> And they just don't want it to work out with this eight of pentacles in reverse. And it's, and see how we have the judgment under that. The dude is like holding, like looking down, holding his hands like that. It's just making them feel some sort of way because you're triggering their wounding and their fears. So they, they're just trying to project. Um, and we did have like this song Confidence by Binaural Beats Beast. It's a, just a little high a frequency song, but um, so like the, I just thought it was interesting that it popped up. So, um, you know, this is, this is gonna require a lot of confidence because if people don't like or see that you have any sort of confidence, courage, they're going to try to break that down if they're in their lower vibe and they're not gonna like to see the change in you um, just out of fear, out of the demons, the entities that they're working with, they're, um, in their lower vibration it's just gonna trigger them so you got to have the confidence and defend everything that you're working for internally and you know you might have to externally like with the uh, no bitch song uh you know i might have to pull up and stomp her ass like you i'm not saying that physically but you might just be like dude fuck off leave me alone like this is what i'm doing like nothing you're doing is going to stop me so you might as well fucking stop. Join me or leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> um, and that you just got to defend your, your beliefs. Um, you know you're on the right path. Your angels, your guides, your spirit team, they're all here with you. They're all supporting you. Your ancestors are really fucking proud of you, especially since you're healing their lineage as well. So, um, yeah. It's, it's hard and it's, I, especially when they're trying to isolate you and do all this like weird stuff because they're triggered and they're codependent. So they want you to be, they assume that you are, but since you're doing the work, you're not, you don't need these motherfuckers. You don't need anybody. You just need, you know, your own internal compass. And, um, you know, you got to just keep cheering yourself on through this, but your, your spirit team will most high will. You just gotta pray, you gotta ask for it, you gotta look for the signs and the those little comfort comforting um like signals, those feelings. You know, it might be a dream or you might just see a sign that says like you got this or something like that. Um the other day I saw a, a license plate that said don't trip and I was like, Okay, yes, you're right, like I, I got this, like there's no worry to like I don't need to be worrying or freaking out or anything like that. So you'll get those as long as you ask for them. Or, and you're just paying attention. Like, you may not even be needing to ask for it, but your spirit team will just see that you're like, fuck, man, what's wrong with people? Like, why? You'll get it. You'll you'll get those little signs. Just You just got to pay attention and be, you know, aware. Um, still not failing enough. Don't be afraid to fail. They're just going to try and um, get you in that fear to like, like, oh, what if you fail? Like, what are the... Just inject you with their little fears and stuff like that and be like yeah you know what maybe i do fail and i'll just lean into it still not failing enough and that's you know um that there's happy little accidents like you know thing failures or like accidents or unintentional mistakes have led to discoveries so like remind yourself that like maybe i do fuck up but maybe that leads me into something that i i'm actually meant to do everything happens for a reason and maybe there's some deeper lesson or deeper programming that I need to undo here. So, you know, try to spin it and be like, oh, maybe I'm not failing enough. Maybe I'm not doing, I need to 
fuck around and find out like do all of that like lean into it and especially with that fear with this devil card and like grit your teeth and just be like you know fuck you like fuck you fear i'm not doing this shit i'm not playing this game i know what i'm here for i know that i'm safe i'm protected this is like yes so this is also telling you you are hella protected too this is your spirit team protecting you um and there's always people to look out for you um but yeah just grit in lean into that fear and say you know fuck you like you're you're not winning um yeah all right babies well i gotta go to work i love you so much i just say um a lot this video sorry about that <laughs> i love you babes have a great day okay bye